kids, welcome back to Catch the Wave. I missed you last week and uh, I, I, I hope you are having a good time of, of Easter. Today it's our third Sunday of Easter and we have a very special guest on this episode. This guest is in disguise, so I hope you can recognize who this person is. Hi there. I bet you can't recognize who I am underneath this disguise. Throughout this video, I'm going to tell you about somebody else that was unrecognizable by two men who were traveling down a road to a village called Emmaus. As a tight fit. In this week's gospel, two men were walking and talking until they met someone on the road to Emmaus. Now, they couldn't recognize who this was. Are you surprised by that? They could, we both know that it was Jesus, but they could not recognize somebody even though he was so well loved and even though he had such an impact on the world. When the stranger says to them, have you not read what the prophets wrote in the scriptures? It was said that the Son of God would perform a sacrifice for the entire world. We could probably guess by then that it was Jesus, but to these men, he was still unrecognizable. Keep in mind that these men had just seen Jesus' crucifixion and they were incredibly sad. So when Jesus told them that, they still couldn't figure out that it was him. It's not that the men didn't believe Christ was capable, it's that they didn't realize it had already happened. It's not that the men didn't believe in Jesus, they didn't realize what he was capable of. When the men finally reached the mosque, they invited Christ to spend the evening and join them in a meal. And when Christ broke the bread, he opened their eyes. So what happened then? Well, you got it. They recognized him. And just like that, Jesus was gone. He had vanished. Jesus had to open their eyes to see that it was him. And when they finally realized this, they knew immediately what they had to do. They ran to go and gather the original 11 disciples. And they told them, it is true what has happened. Christ is the king. Christ is reborn. They shouted this from the rooftops. And now that we know that, Jesus has come back from the dead and fulfilled the prophet's words. We can open our eyes up to him as well and also see the incredible things that he does. Don't you notice how their attitudes totally changed after Christ came back from the dead? It's because their hearts had been touched by what he did. That's when they said to themselves, we did feel a burning when Christ, when Christ spoke to us on the road. We knew that he was there with us. Ah, oh, much better. Can you guess who I am yet? That's right, it's your leader, Sam. So when we open our eyes up to Jesus, we allow our, our hearts to open up too. And that gives Jesus the chance to connect with us. So why don't we open our eyes up to see Jesus? Because when you take the opportunity to do that, things are always, in the end, more wonderful than they seem. Just like this picture. When you look at this picture from this side up, it looks exactly like an eagle, doesn't it? But just wait, when you flip it upside down, you get something completely different. We, I would say I'm looking right at the face of Jesus on the cross. Wouldn't you say that too? So take the opportunity to open yourself up to him and recognizing that he did this incredible thing by fulfilling what the prophet said just like the men on the road to a mosque. That's it for me today. Thank you so much and amen. Thank you very much, Sam. Thank you very much for uh, showing us how can Jesus sometimes is in disguise. It's difficult for us to see and maybe you are looking for Jesus today. Jesus is alive. So where can we find Jesus? So every time during Mass, when you see Father Mike putting the bread like this, Jesus is 
inside that bread. He is alive in disguise in that bread. Every time that you love your family and you are together as a family, Jesus is in disguise in the midst of your family. Every time you help someone in need and you give a hand to that person that needs a hand, you are helping Jesus in disguise. So I just want to encourage you today to find Jesus around you. Jesus is alive. And today, when you give a hug to your parents, when you, you smile to your brothers or to your sisters, you are hugging and smiling Jesus. So let's close our session today with prayer, as we usually do. So I'm going to start the prayer, and uh, you can repeat after me. Is that okay? Let's pray. Dear Jesus, I want to ask you today to help me see you in my life. I want to recognize you in my family, my friends, my brothers and my sisters. I want to see you today in my prayer. Thank you, Jesus, for everything you do for me. And we make our prayers in your name, Jesus. Amen. Thank you very much, everyone. And if you want to still send me uh, the bulletins that you are drawing, you can send them to my email at rojo at See you next week and God bless you.